hello and uh, thank you for watching my name is dr paul and uh, today we're going to discuss different ways of uh, sedating children in dentistry one of the most common methods uh, used to sedate children in dentistry is nitrous oxide also known as laughing gas and uh, it is used for its calming effect it makes the patient feel uh, more relaxed and you can breathe in the nitrous usually through a mask that covers your nose it takes a few minutes for it to take effect and uh, also patient describe the feeling as being more unconcerned happy and uh, slightly numb the dosage of nitrous uh, could be adjusted by the dentist to fit your needs and also you could control the uh, nitrous oxide uh, by uh, your breathing the more uh, you breathe to your nose the more you'll feel the effect and uh, the good thing about nitrous is that there are no long-lasting effects also another way of uh, sedating children in dentistry is conscious sedation and the word conscious is emphasized uh, uh, because uh, the patient is awake and responsive but uh, feeling sedated to get uh, conscious sedation patient can be given meds orally which are in liquid form usually and uh, the most common ones are uh, named uh, chloral hydrate and uh, hydroxazine and those are the most common ones and um, uh, they make uh, patients uh, sedated and sleepy and uh, the goal uh, with these medications are to uh, basically accomplish a more uh, cooperative patient with less movement so the treatment uh, could be uh, completed thank you for uh, watching and uh, hope to see you soon